Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're looking at the new features in the 2025 Band in a Box DAW plugin. We've been cooking up some exciting stuff and we can't wait to show you. Let's dive in, shall we? First up, we've revamped the interface and have simplified and streamlined. The Generate button is in the upper left corner here and we've made the transport controls bigger. There is a new Generate menu in the menu bar and Preferences has been moved up there too. As well, chord and bar settings have been moved to the middle bar here just above the chord sheet. Next is a feature a lot of you were asking for. You can now generate your songs without needing to generate WAV files, which take time to generate and gradually fill up your storage. These WAV instructions generate in much less time and play back directly from the source files in Band in a Box instead of creating new files. If you click on the small arrow button underneath the Generate button, you'll be able to choose between WAV instructions, WAV files, or both, plus whether you want to generate all pages, this page, or a 4-bar preview. For even more options, click on the Generate menu. Now I've got a song open here, so let's generate the WAV files for it. I'll fast forward so you don't have to wait, but for me this took just under 21 seconds. Now let's try again, but with the wave instructions, and this time I don't even need to fast forward because it's already done. It only took three seconds, which is much faster than before. Now, for the best part, you don't need to drag the tracks into your DAW. You can simply start playback, and the plugin will automatically synchronize to the DAW. While we're on the topic of playing back from the DAW, that brings me to the next big new feature. The plugin will now automatically match the tempo in the DAW during playback, meaning that you can set up multiple tempo changes in your DAW session and the Band in a Box plugin will automatically follow those. I'll show you here. Let's add a couple tempo changes. Ah, that should do. And let's play the song to see how the plugin follows the tempo changes. If you watch the yellow tempo indicator in the plugin, it will display the current DAW tempo. Hey, that sounds great! Next up, it is now possible to use bar settings to control utility tracks. This is very easy to do. Simply choose a bar, then click Bar Settings, and you'll see the Utility Tracks menu in the lower left. This works the same as with other tracks. You can control volume changes and MIDI patches, or change real tracks on any track. Another very simple feature. Band in a Box will automatically play your song as soon as it's finished generating. This can be enabled or disabled in the Preferences window. To disable it, open the Preferences, click on the Rendering tab, then set Auto Play After Generating to Disabled. Another nice new addition, Band in a Box will automatically offer to generate ungenerated tracks when you try to drag them into the DAW. Next up, we've added a history feature to the multi-riffs. Previously, you could only load the most recent reel track, but now the Select menu has a sub-menu which lets you select from any previously used reel track. We've also improved demo playback. If you'd like to hear a demo of the current style, you can now click on this demo button. And even better, you can seek through the demo song using this progress bar here. And last but not least, we've added the ability to route the chord track out into your DAW. By default, the chord track uses an embedded synth, but now you can change the output to a MIDI channel, set up routing in your DAW, and have any instrument plugin of your choice play the chord track. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you've learned something here today. However, if you've got any questions or run into any trouble, feel free to contact our customer service team. We're available by phone, email, and online chat, and we're always happy to help. Either way, keep on rockin', and as always, have fun!